Yo, what is going on guys? Bishops Gaming here and welcome to my Dark Zone Survival Guide. This is episode 1 and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to get better loot in the Dark Zone. Because uh, ultimately you're going to be facing good enemies so you want good weapons to kill people with good gear, good armor. And you want as much DPS and as much health as you can and skill power. As much as you can get really. So this is just my... Uh, what well, I found the best ways to get into it, um, best gear, getting the purples and the high ends. What you want to do is obviously you want to squad up with someone. When you're in the dark zone, you do not want to be extracting by yourself. There's a, a lot of cases where I've been online by myself in the dark zone and I've actually just gone to extract and fucked up and they've just killed me. There's about three or four of them killed me. And there was an, actually an occasion earlier, even, at, even after I've extracted. Um, some other guys have gone up there, maybe to catch the end of the extraction or maybe to kill us. But they just waited there and obviously the extraction went so they went. And they left one of their mates up there. So what we did was there was three of us so we just shot him and killed him real real fast, like really fast. And then the other guy come out the corner or where they come from, tried to run back up. Obviously they were on the mic to each other and one of them was saying, no, don't go back up there, they're waiting for you. And the other one stayed down. So one of them come up by himself and there was three of us and we just destroyed him in about five seconds. It was incredible. He, they were they were both 29s and we we're only 28s, uh, but Dark Zone ranked level 29, obviously, as it says at the top. But it just goes to show if you're going to go up by yourself and you're going to run in like that, you've got to be expecting people to kill you, especially if they've just killed one of your buddies. You've just got to expect when you're extracting, you want to you wanna buddy up with someone, you want to get some friends. You can just go in the Dark Zone if you press the right stick in when you're by a player, you have to literally get right up next to him. You can invite him to your group, that means he won't be able to shoot you or kill you. And it's just it just works quite well because you can extract, extract together. But yeah, when you get good loot you want to do that because when you get to the higher ranks, when you get to like rank uh, 29 to 30 or 28 to 30, people aren't going to be extracting for rare weapons. People are going to want purples or high ends. There's no other reason for people to extract. If, if they've got, if they're extracting, they've either got a purple or a high end. So you've got, to, you've got to anticipate that and you've got to anticipate that people are going to think the same thing about you. So if you're extracting maybe just a load of purples, there's a chance that someone's there thinking, wait, these guys are extracting. If it's one guy by himself, we can kill him and nick his high ends because obviously he's going to be extracting for high ends or purples. So you want to buddy up with people and just get up there for as long as you can and lock the place down. Make sure that you aren't close together so you can't get killed by a sticky bomb, but you can... Um, you can all see each other and help each other out if, if needs be but yeah what I was saying was that with the high loot you don't really want to open the box you see when you're walking around and it says DZ rank 30 box to open you don't want to open them because those those boxes they only give you rares and maybe the odd purple every now and then I've never actually got a high end from them and I've opened pretty much every one on the map so you don't want to go for them what you want to do is go for the bosses you see what we were doing then we were killing the bosses and then we just well, right now we're going to run to another landmark. At the landmarks, there's always a boss guy where you see like a yellow guy with a name. The guys with the names, they're the ones that are going to drop you the high ends. They don't always drop them, and it's very rare that you will get one, but you can get them from them. So they are your best bet. You want to go into the contaminated areas, because that's where I seem to find that there are more bad guys in these top ends of the... Um, uh, the in the top ends of the uh, dark zone. So that's where you want to go. You want to go to the uh, yeah contaminated areas and just take out the guys in there obviously focusing on the, your fire on the on the um on the guys with the names themselves but obviously you want to wipe out everyone around them so you don't die and then obviously extract with someone else because you can't leave the dark zone um, with your gear in your bag and then expect to come back online and still have it because if you leave the dark zone with that you will lose that, those items so either hide and wait for your buddy to come on or walk around and try and find someone that is willing to join your group and help you extract because normally people will work together they will revive each other they will give you I don't know certain damage boosts or you know chuck down their health packs or you know use their explosive bombs like we have or put a turret down for example there's a lot of ways that another player can can come in handy and help you guys get your high end gear out so I hope this guys help this helps you guys remember don't look in the boxes extract with someone and get the guys with the yellow guys with the names they're the ones you want to kill for the high end gear so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give a like and episode 2 I will be talking about um, what the effects on grouping up with someone is or grouping up with a group of people and how it can be a lot easier and you can just get shit done so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give a like it's been Bishops Gaming I will see you guys all in my next video peace